Hello and welcome back to yet another Rivet tutorial. Um, today we will find out how we can use local um, LLMs using LLM Studio. I mean, there are also other, other solutions out there, but this is a pretty simple one and easy to understand one. And not just how to replace, uh, the, to make the shed node only use this local model instead of the OpenAI model, but also look at solutions where you can actually mix and match because maybe Maybe there are some operations where you see, okay, I need ChatGPT4 because it's very complex and um, some smaller local model is not giving me good results, but maybe you also have operations in your graphs where you're like, okay, sure, I just need a summary of this text. And if I use Mistral 7B instruct, for example, then this works super fine, so why pay the money? So um, let me show you both, um, but I would really uh, suggest to use the second solution. Okay, first thing you need to do is download LM Studio. I put a link to the in the description. It's fairly simple. It's just some application you're installing on your PC, so nothing you need to know about or worry about. Um, after that, you basically have to, yeah, on the home screen here, you have to pick a model. So, I mean, this is a full different topic. You can, yeah, get descriptions here. You can also find out lots of websites where descriptions are, what the models can do, which models are good. So for example, for this one here, I downloaded the, the smaller quantized version of Mistral 7B. So quantized means it's a bit less accurate and smaller, but that also makes it quicker. Um, but basically it really also depends on how much uh, system memory you have. For example, here, as you can see, you need eight gigabyte plus RAM and there are also modes where you need more. So just, just choose something. You probably have to test it out yourself. After that, uh, maybe go to the shed first and um, yeah, maybe load the model to see that it's actually working. So you just press select the model to load. And now let's put that in and yep, I know what I'm doing. So this may take a bit depending on your yeah, power of your machine. So now we have it here and now we can just try out if it's working. As you can see here, this is now um, Mistral Instruct 27B or 027B running on my uh, MacBook Pro and it works. So let's stop this. But the interesting part or what we need to, to touch now is this panel here, which is the local inference server. And there's one check mark which is usual off, that's this one here. Please put this to on. That um, makes it much easier to use it out of uh, Rivet. And we are on your, you're on your local system anyways, not in the internet, so you do not need to worry about some cross-origin resource sharing and some security because it's just running on your PC. So just put this on, toggle this to on, and then start the server. And you can still see there's still the, yeah, if you didn't do it before, then you need to load the model first here. So let's do this. And we can immediately see that it created some endpoints here. And the most important one is the shed completions endpoint here. So let's copy this because this is the same structure that OpenAI is using. Version one, then shed and completions, exactly the same path, but there's your local uh, host at the beginning, which points to your PC. So let's copy that and let's go to Rivet. So in Rivet, the standard way to do this would be to go to the settings and go to OpenAI. And now we would be replacing this OpenAI endpoint. And actually there was also a button added here, which is just configure for LM Studio. We can also press this, but this is somehow faulty. This is not the URL we need to use. I copied it from before, so let me insert what I copied. And we can immediately see this URL is missing, is lacking the version one. Probably LM Studio changed this at some point. So they added this to make it completely like OpenAI, but Rivet is not reflecting it. So it's actually not working if you click that button. So instead, we copy this into the OpenAI endpoint. And basically, that's it. So now, if we use a chat node and we do some prompting. So maybe you are a professional gamer. You only talk about games. It's our system prompt just to 
do something and we will do some text and we just ask him do you like hiking in nature hiking this to the prompt we can send this off and i mean it still says the model is gpt35 turbo but this is just being ignored then we can see um, that this is being answered and let's quickly go back to uh, lm studio and then we can also see in the logs here that there was actually a request made here this is our request and we can see that the system prompt was you are a professional gamer and the user prompt was this. So we are now talking with our local model and no more with, uh, with OpenAI. Okay, so this is the simplest way to do it. The issue with it is now when you create a chat node, I mean, this is all being ignored. What you chose here, you cannot communicate with OpenAI anymore. And as I stated in the beginning, maybe, maybe you need to, maybe you need both. So let's not do it like this. Let's go back to the settings. Let's just remove this. So and what that means is when we now run it, we are going back to OpenAI. But we have another solution. So let's create a second chat node. And let's just for the better readability collect local model here. It's not necessary. It does not do anything. Um, but in advanced, there is also an endpoint setting here. And now we can either add an in input for it or directly add our value here. So this depends a bit on how you like it, but maybe let's just add it directly. And now we can also see here that this one is using our local and this one is uh, using OpenAI. And now let's connect both up. And we can even send the same prompts now at the same time to both systems. So now this is our Open AI answer, I appreciate the beauty of nature, but my true passion lies in the virtual worlds of gaming. And this is our Mistral 7B instruct answer. I'm sorry, I don't have personal experience or interests outside of the gaming world. Um, so in my eyes, this second solution is uh, is uh, the better way because you yeah, you are staying more, staying more flexible. If you are more interested more in this, I mean, there is also the possibility to use Olama. Then you can even use multiple models on your local machine. So if you'd like to see something about that, um, yeah, just give me feedback. And in general, maybe like or subscribe the channel or um, yeah, if there's anything you want to see or you dislike or you think should be improved upon, feel free to tell me in the comments. Thank you very much and bye.